All right, this is going to be my Agatha All Along Episode 7 review. This was another really solid episode. It was titled Death's Hand in Mine. It's one of the shorter episodes, but I thought it was really, really entertaining. The trial in this week's episode is all about tarot, and uh, it was really interesting. You know, Agatha and Billy, they're trying to put the cards down, it's just not working. And uh, then the show basically became an episode all about Lilia. And I gotta say, Patty Lapone absolutely stole the show. Like, she was just magnificent in this episode. We got to explore her backstory. We got to explore this um, issue that she's having where she kind of gets displaced in time, which I thought was really interesting. It kind of fills in some gaps from previous episodes, too. Like, sometimes she would just say some really random stuff, and now you know why. I really enjoyed the costumes in this episode, especially because it's spooky season. You know, Halloween is right around the corner, and uh, seeing Catherine Hahn dressed up as the Wicked Witch, and then we had Billy Maximoff as Maleficent. It was just nice to see and just made the episode just feel more Halloween-y, if that's a word. So yeah, I really liked the costumes in this episode. I thought the set design was really good too, even though we didn't really go to like a whole lot of locations. It was basically uh, between three locations. We were like under the road, then we were in this room with the tarot cards, uh, and then we had the uh, Lilia scenes where she's in Italy. But I would say specifically the tarot card room, that set just looks beautiful. Like it looks amazing. In this episode, we got to talk about the Scarlet Witch again, which is always nice. Billy was asking Agatha, like, hey, do you think the Scarlet Witch is really dead? And Agatha responds, yes, no, maybe. And I just can't wait to see Elizabeth Olsen back as Scarlet Witch. Now, this season, or this series, I should say, is definitely going to set up her return. I don't expect her to show up in the show uh, or in the finale or anything like that. I think it's just going to, you know lay the groundwork for her actual return, which I think is probably going to happen in maybe an Avengers movie or something. But the more that characters talk about the Scarlet Witch in the MCU, that means we're getting closer and closer to Elizabeth Olsen's return, and I cannot wait for that day. Okay, so we've established that Episode 7 is a strong episode, but let's talk specifically about the ending. I thought that was brilliant. Lilia basically just takes charge, she starts putting the cards down, and we kind of get a little bit of a mystery unraveled. When she placed the reverse tower card and then everything just flipped upside down and the Salem 7 got impaled by the swords, I was like, wow, the visuals on that was stunning, especially for TV. Now, I do believe Lilia died in that scene, although we didn't actually see it, so there's a possibility she's still alive. Some people are definitely, you know, saying online, like, oh, Lilia's alive, but I think she's probably dead. I'm just not 100% sure. If she is dead, though, R.I.P. So, yeah, I thought that scene was extremely well done, but uh, we also got to talk about that big reveal because she plays down the death card, revealing that Aubrey Plaza is death. Now, I know a lot of people already were theorizing that, and there was like a Funko Pop leak weeks ago that confirmed it, but uh, it was just nice to have it confirmed in the actual show. Now, here's an image of Aubrey as death, and I got to say, I like the design. So guys, overall, I thought episode 7 was a very solid episode. It had great performances from everybody. The costume design, the set design, the script, the visuals, everything was top notch. I had a lot of fun with this episode. I do have a couple of complaints though. I will say that the non-linear storytelling in this episode did get a little bit messy here and there. And I thought the short runtime definitely affected the pacing in some scenes, but overall I had a really good time watching it. I'm going to give episode 7 of Agatha all along a 7 out of 10. I think it's really good TV, especially during the Halloween season. Now, next week is actually the finale of the show. We're getting episode 8 and 9 dropped on Wednesday. So stay tuned for my review on those final two episodes. But let me know what you guys thought about episode 7 down below.